producer Tiffany. I think that's that one. Turn it on the lights. He's in control in there. She's working hard, taking us to 10 o'clock. This is a busy hour, but she's got it all under control here on Good Day. Amy? All right. We're over in Studio V. Thanks, Ryan. Easter is Sunday, of course, and for many, that means a day to spend time with your family. It also means putting together some great dishes, or maybe you're eating out. Either way, joining us this morning is Executive Chef Laurent Holladea with Grand Bohemian Hotel, downtown Orlando, and Banquet Chef Robert Walker. Thank you both for being here. Thank you, Amy. Morning. Thank you for having us. All right. So a lot of people will do try to do the traditional feast at home, and it usually means ham of some kind, right? But it's okay to mix it up and be, do something different. Totally correct. Here at Grand Bohemian, and first and foremost, thank you for having us oh, today. I mean, we are very proud to represent the Kessler Collection and the Grand Bohemian Hotel. Uh, so Sunday we have basically two options. Okay. It's smoky. <laughs> <laughs> it's a working kitchen. So at Grand Bohemian, we're having uh, two options. We're having a beautiful grand buffet okay. upstairs, which Robert is going to talk about yeah. it. And downstairs, we do a la carte also. Okay. Uh, downstairs, it's going to be more like European Easter type. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some Easter rice tart. And I'm going to show you how to make a sea bass, baked sea bass with some sherry wine. And also Easter, it's, it's a great holiday for us chefs because that means spring is here. Yeah. That means new things are coming out. We got some beautiful asparagus, purple, green, heirloom tomatoes, we got some fiddlehead, ferns, and fresh morels. So right. I'm going to start cooking and order. Okay, yeah, please do. And then gonna I'll let us know what's going bit. on in, uh, yeah, in banquet, about that basically. As well. so, okay, so you're going to prepare the sea bass first, Correct. is that right? Okay, this is so going to be gonna, amazing. So first thing, I'm going to seal the sea bass. Okay. All right, and while you're doing that, I'll ask Robert a couple questions about it. So you're going to be preparing more the banquet style, right? And are reservations still available? Reservations are still okay. available. Okay, all yes, right, wonderful. So tell me about what you're going to be offering. Well, we're going to have, uh, we've got several different stations out there. We've got the whole fifth floor dedicated for our grand buffet. We've got a roasted leg of lamb, roasted prime rib. Uh, we've got a uh, omelet stations and um, a lot of offerings. Nice variety. What time will you guys be hosting? How, how, what time? Or the day is the is the well, happening. Okay, yeah, starting 10 at 10. We start and then okay. we serve all the way up till three o'clock in the afternoon right. and uh, even later if reservations keep pushing. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, and as we're doing that, Chef Laurent is uh, got his sea bass cooking over here, which I got to tell you, I'm, I, whenever I make fish at home, I'm always a nervous wreck because if I ruin it, I, I'm, what are we gonna eat? So and you, and you spend a lot of money on it too. I know, and uh, especially sea bass, it's right. a very it's delicate fish. Yeah, but we it's very it's very uh, bulletproof. Okay. Is it? Okay, good. Um, you're making me feel so better. You, you so, sea bass is bulletproof. So, basically, you pan <laughs> sear your sea bass. Okay. Give a nice color to it. Right. You put it in a cast iron. Okay. If you don't have a cast iron, you can take any kind of baking dish. And why the cast iron? What is that? What does it? For the presentation and for okay. the heat also. Okay. It keeps the flavor also. Gotcha. So, we put some nice uh, grilled artichokes. Okay. Some piquillo peppers. Looks beautiful. We put that all around. We put some uh, castellvestrano leaves, some kalamata leaves, Maya lemons, which okay. is a nice addition. Yes, it looks wonderful. Then you can you can put some uh, fresh oregano. Okay. We put that on top. Then I'm gonna get my sherry wine. Oh, okay. Put some sherry wine. All right. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And what you want to do is to give a nice sear to the sea bass on one side. Yeah. And then you flip it over in your pan, and you don't sear the other side, so all the juice of the fish can come out. Can you undercook fish? I mean, on something like that. What, approximately, how long should you have that going? This one, we're gonna get it on for like 10, 15 minutes. Okay. And uh, so you put it in the oven, and you, set, you end up serving it like oh, that. It looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And put a nice little oreg fresh oregano. We serve it with. A, a glass of sherry and some fingerling potatoes. Oh, it looks so good. Gentlemen, how can our viewers find you if they would like to make a reservation? Uh, where do they go? You can go online. They can go on Open Table. Okay. You can call uh, the hotel. Okay. And uh, we do have reservation open for uh, upstairs in the banquet and okay. also downstairs in the restaurant. Wonderful. Take advantage of it. This means you don't have to cook at home. But if you do, use his advice. Chef Laurent, thank you so much. Thank you, Amy. Such thank a pleasure. Thank Chef you. Robert, thank you so much for coming in this morning. And such a beautiful hotel downtown Orlando. If you've not been, you really need to go check it out.